hello everyone i hope you're doing well today i wanted to share with you guys my spring wardrobe essentials now this year i feel a little bit lost with my spring style i'm not gonna lie i feel like spring has really come in quite slowly and the weather has been really crap so i feel like it's not inspiring in the slightest when you're like one day having to wear layers the next day it's warm and you don't need to wear a jacket and it's just it's just the weirdest weather and it's raining and you just can't enjoy it. So I've really been struggling with my spring style of where to start with it um, and where to go with it, what I want to wear for spring because all I keep thinking about is the fact that I need to wear layers when I go out of the house. So this year I wanted to bring it back to basics and see, like think about the classic pieces in my wardrobe, where my outfits start from and the pieces that I'm going to gravitate towards more and more throughout the spring season. And obviously we're just starting into spring, it's actually sunny right now, um, and I think that, you know, it will probably adapt and it will probably change and I'll add pieces in and I'll, you know, switch it up a little bit, but right now I'm just sticking to the pieces I love and we can work and add things in from there and I think that's always a good place to start, is start with like a core base and then add in bits and bobs. This is something I definitely definitely need to do um, when we get to summer because I struggle with summer style so much. But spring, I love. I love a transitional season. I love a season where you can kind of get wear out of like a few winter pieces, but you can also wear some of your like more spring summery pieces. I love that. That's like one of my favorite things, being able to wear lots of different pieces from your wardrobe. Um, and I'm very, very happy to be getting away from the scarves, you know? need to pack those away really um but anyway let's jump into it i'm going to start with a piece that we all love i think we all love and that is a good classic white tee now the thing i love about white tees is that you can get them in so many different styles and different fits which i think means that you can find the white tee to suit your style whether you go for a tight cropped one whether you go for a baggy one whether you go for something in the middle or just a classic cut t-shirt whatever suits your style I think you can find something that fits you and what you feel most comfortable in and I have an array of t-shirts I love a good t-shirt I think a t-shirt is something that can really switch up an outfit whether you go like one day a baggy graphic tee then like a more tight fitting tee then one you tuck in do you know what I mean there's so many options two of my favorites that I'm loving that I feel, feel like I'm gonna love throughout spring is one this one which is from Arquette I love this t-shirt this is a really nice kind of boxier fit, like classic fit, not necessarily boxy, but hangs really nicely, structured, structured to the word. Um, this is one of those t-shirts that I tend to tuck in, so if I'm wearing trousers, jeans or something and I want to tuck the t-shirt in, this is the t-shirt that I would go for because it has that kind of nice structure to it, so when it's tucked in it just sits really nicely. Um, so I couldn't recommend these t-shirts more from Arquette, they're amazing. Um, and I'd probably be buying some new ones ready for the new season because I find that t-shirts just do get a bit grim after you've worn them quite a few times and I do tend to live in t-shirts in the spring summer time um so yeah we'll definitely be buying some new ones um but this is actually a new one this is one is from Uniqlo this is like a baby tee style which is probably my favorite style of t-shirt at the moment I love something a little bit more fitted on the top half and then wearing something a little bit more baggy on the bottom half. I just think the contrast is really nice and I feel quite confident like that. So I do love a baby tee. This is essentially, if you don't know what a baby tee is, a tight fitting t-shirt. That's essentially what it is. Um, but these ones from Uniqlo are really soft and comfortable, which I like. I think it's nice to find t-shirts that are of good quality, that are comfortable. And I love Uniqlo. Like, you guys know how much I rave about Uniqlo. So um, couldn't speak highly of these. I've already worn my grey one quite a few times so good classic t-shirts always good to have in your spring wardrobe you can't go wrong always a good basic the next good basic piece that i absolutely love and wear to death all the time are my good old trusty jeans i love a good pair of jeans and i think jeans are such a good staple for a spring wardrobe whether you wear it with a white tee a baggy jumper whether you wear it with a crop top and like a jacket, whatever, you've got like the perfect option of bottom half to go for. I think it's never super, super warm in spring, so jeans are always a good option. You can dress them up, dress them down, you can make them look really cool. I just love a good pair of jeans, as you know. Um, these are the Levi's 501 90s. I just love them. They're my favourite pair of jeans. I should probably take them off the hanger to show you properly. Um, they're just a really nice 
pair of jeans. They're a little bit more of a lower rise, baggier fit, which I personally love. I love a baggy jean. I love something that fits a little bit looser. Um, I think that a light wash jean in general is a really good piece to have in your wardrobe, whether you go for like a mum style jean, a straight leg jean, a skinny jean, or whatever floats your boat. Um, a light wash piece of denim is really really good because it will brighten up your wardrobe and take you away from maybe those like darker winter colours that we tend to go for in the winter um, and bring your wardrobe a little bit more into the spring season again it's still comfortable it's still a good classic piece that you can get wear out of throughout the year um, and you know you can team with everything which is just like an absolute winner to me another piece that every spring wardrobe should have actually every autumn wardrobe should also have one of these and that is a trench coat i love a trench coat this time of year it's nice to take yourself away from the coats that you've been wearing throughout the winter they're a bit more heavy that add that warmth and go for something a little bit more lightweight a trench coat's not for everyone but i do think they're a really good piece to have and they're also a really good piece to buy into because trench coats are always a trend or always a thing every spring they're back around so buying into a trench coat is never a bad thing my hair is irritating me today um is never a bad thing so i think it's always good if you find one that you really like if it's a little bit maybe pricey and you think is it worth it 100 percent worth it but also getting a cheaper one still worth it they're always a good piece to have i've got one from mango that i absolutely love i've got one in my coat cupboard that's from asos which i love so um i don't think you necessarily need to buy an expensive one but finding one that you love that's a good classic style that you can see yourself wearing a lot this one is from and other stories um it's more of that classic like burberry burberry trench look which is kind of what i wanted i really wanted to add a trench into my wardrobe that was more structured that had that like slightly smarter structured element to it Whereas like a lot of the other ones I have are a little bit more relaxed, which is definitely what suited with my style. But sometimes I feel like you need that like more structured look. And I just love this and it's so lovely. I will link the haul video that I did recently where I featured this and you can learn all the information about this jacket because I freaking love it. Such a good piece, such a good find. Um, and there's trench coats everywhere on the high street at the moment. So you'll definitely be able to find one that suits you maybe i'll do a little edit and i'll link it in the description box so you can go shop some array of different trench coats next up is a good old classic pair of smart trousers now i love a good pair of smart trousers i think a smart trouser can be dressed up and down and that is just what you need you need that sweet spot you need those items that you can dress up and down whether you're going to work going for drinks wearing on the weekend always a good option these uniqlo um wide leg trousers are one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe i have these in gray i've bought them in black which i've yet to arrive and i've also got them in brown and i just love them they're really relaxed they're comfortable i just think they're a really nice fitting pair of trousers um and i think when you find a pair of trousers that you love you're sorted whether you go for more of a like um cigarette style or more of a loose fit a wide leg whatever floats your boat whatever you like the most buy into that whatever suits you i love a wide leg because i just feel the most comfortable in them um but i think that any sort of smart trousers is great i just think you need to find one that suits you i've got a beautiful pair of like cigarette style trousers which i love for certain outfits and for the most part i'm going for a wide leg but these uniqlo ones are so good and i just think if you're looking for something that is gonna last you because uniqlo stuff is really really affordable um then i highly recommend these but a smart pair of trousers is great for whether you wear it with a t-shirt and a trench coat for that kind of like more smarter look or you go for a t-shirt trousers trainers or you do like a baggy knit with trainers you know what i mean like there are so many options i think a smart trouser is always a good one to go for and i do think it switches it up from wearing jeans all the time because i tend to wear a lot of jeans so sometimes it's nice to wear a pair of trousers just to add that like slightly more cooler smarter element to my spring wardrobe um talking of adding a different vibe to your wardrobe sweatshirt now the reason why I wanted to add a sweatshirt into this is because you know when we're in winter and you wear like lots of knits and warm cosy knits and it's all about being cosy. Sometimes I find when we go into spring 
it's hard to feel like you're in a new season when you're wearing cozy knits. I feel like it can seem quite repetitive, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a, a big wardrobe. Maybe you've got a capsule wardrobe or maybe you only have a few items um, to play with. I think when you're wearing knits all the time, it can still feel like winter. So by switching out a, a knit and going for a sweatshirt, you're adding slightly more of a lighter weight element to your wardrobe. It adds that slightly more casual, going into that spring style, less chunky knits, less kind of cozy vibes and more like oh it's spring and i think with a sweatshirt you can wear it time and time again you can wear it year after year you can wear it lounging around the house so i feel like a sweatshirt is always good to buy into especially if you see one that you really like this one is from sporty and rich i bought this it's probably over a year old now maybe a year and a half old i've worn it a ton i've washed it a ton i love it it's one of my favorite sweatshirts it's very simple it's just got this little bit of graphic detail here but i absolutely love it and i think that whenever i'm looking for a gray sweatshirt whether i want to like team it with some like smart trousers for a smart casual look or whether i just want to wear it with some jeans i think that a sweatshirt is definitely a good option to go for when it comes to just casualing down an outfit but also adding that more light free element to a spring wardrobe um the next piece is definitely more of a trend piece but i wanted to add it because i feel like it's going to be a really good piece for the spring and summer seasons and that is the denim maxi skirt now i love a good denim piece as we know i love my jeans and i'm not like the biggest skirt fan but i am someone who wears more skirts in the spring summer time and i feel like this is going to be a really good piece to have in your wardrobe where it's cold still and when it warms up it will be nice to get out your legs a little bit but still have that coverage and still be able to sit down and not feel uncomfortable it's a nice way of getting yourself into the summer style when we get to summer um and i love the length of this i think they look really cool i think they add that kind of like casual element but in a different way if you're someone who loves wearing jeans this is definitely a good option to try i think that they can add that like slightly more i guess feminine touch from going from jeans to like a skirt um and i think that a denim skirt is always a good option you can't really go wrong and if you do get sick of it you can chop it and make it a short denim skirt um but i just love the vibe of these and i love the light wash of this one as well i think you can't really go wrong with a light wash denim especially in the springtime definitely like brightens up your whole wardrobe makes everything feel a little bit more fresh and i think ultimately when you go into spring you want your wardrobe to feel fresh and free and like like it's breathing do you know what i mean less heavy darker colors saying that <laughs> the next item is black and that is a classic black blazer we are in blazer season and if you're a blazer fan then this is the season for you i think if you're looking to add a blazer or you're looking to maybe you don't own any blazers a black blazer is always a good option a lot of us already tend to have a black blazer but i think a black blazer is great for wearing with like blue jeans white tee blazer do you know what i mean good classic spring style can't go wrong easy to go for um always a simple style whether you wear like boots whether we wear trainers whether you wear sandals whatever you want to go for black blazer always a good option you could go for a lighter tone but any blazer really to be honest you don't need a black blazer but i think that if you're looking if you've got quite a lighter toned wardrobe with the other pieces a black blazer can just kind of add a bit of contrast if you've got a lot of black in your wardrobe and you want to add a bit of light then maybe add more of a lighter tone maybe like a lighter brown blazer or a green blazer or something like that that will lighten up your wardrobe i think it just depends on how you're taking your spring wardrobe obviously if you love darker colors and that's just how your style is like stick to the dark colors but if you're wanting to brighten up your wardrobe then maybe add some other don't just go fully black um but this is a great blazer this one is from arquette and i love it it's such a lovely classic blazer and it's actually such a nice quality blazer as well um but i can see myself wearing that a lot with white tees jeans um and even into the summertime like wearing with like a dress in the evening or whatever like that's the kind of vibe i love and it's nice to have a piece like a simple blazer to get you through these like weird weather moments when you kind of need a jacket but you don't kind of don't um or if you want to smarten up an outfit as well a blazer is great for that now this video would not be complete without adding some accessories and some pieces that i love to add to my already existing spring wardrobe we've got going on and the first one is bags and now both of these bags 
are from coach and this wasn't intentional but these two bags are the ones that i'm gravitating towards the most right now which is why i wanted to share them with you guys starting with this one which is the um demi bag this i love i love the brown tones i love the print i love the texture of it I think if you're looking to add any sort of bag to your wardrobe and you've got quite a simple classic style like me, add something with a bit of texture or print um, that's also going to go well with the tones of your wardrobe. You don't need to go and buy colour, you don't need to go and buy loads of bright bags to brighten up the look, but something with a bit of print or texture will just add something different to your look and make it feel a little bit more um, exciting, you know, less just simple and add a bit of something a bit of shush there are so many bags on the high street you don't need to buy a coach one but i just think this was the perfect option to show you like a little bit of print like if you're wearing all of these tones and these pieces with a bit of print it just adds that little something something you know and i think you can't really go wrong you could easily add a brighter bag any color if you've got quite a simple wardrobe like this and you want to spice it up maybe add a bright colour bag but buy a bag that you actually like rather than just for the sake of it um but anything with like texture print maybe a bit of colour even if you just go for like a lime green or like a light green coloured bag it's quite muted that's more neutral perfect piece to add because it's colour but it's not too bright um the other bag is this coach tabby bag which i was recently kindly sent by coach which is insane to me um but this is a classic black bag now again this is a really good piece to have this is what the bag looks like on oh, i didn't show you this one on they are great size bags they are just like you could fit enough in them but they're on your shoulder and i just there's something about that that i absolutely love when you can wear something that fits on your shoulder but you can fit a lot in but it doesn't look stupidly big Oh, I love it. A black bag is a good piece to have whether you've got a smarter style, a more casual style, whatever your vibe it is. Um, a black bag is just, it's a good classic to have anyway because who doesn't love a black bag with any outfit? I don't tend to wear black bags as much in the spring summertime, but if you're wearing pieces like a black blazer or you've got a little bit of black or you want to add that, if you've got more of a smarter style, a black bag is really good, especially if it's a bit more structured. Um, but I do think with trench coats and things like that, a black bag is really, really good, especially like a shoulder bag. I'll link some like high street alternatives down below, by the way, for you guys, um, because I know that not everyone's going to be wanting to spend the money on the coach bags, but coach is like fairly reasonable for a designer bag. So if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank, then, um, these coach bags are really lovely. But I do think a black bag is just a good essential. If you're going to buy anything for your spring wardrobe right now, and you're looking at what you can add to your already existing wardrobe, a simple black bag or a printed bag is a perfect way to just add something different to your wardrobe. Now this video would not be complete without some trainers because it's me and I love my trainers. Um, I wanted to share with you a few different styles of trainers because I know I share the same ones and i don't mean to but i always like if i'm going to suggest something to you guys i want to make sure that they're ones that i genuinely believe are worth the money and that i've got the most wear out of um and these 530s are hands down one of the best shoes ever and i can't wait to wear them in the summertime with like little socks legs out that kind of vibe because they are those kind of trainers and um, they look great with baggy trousers and jeans and stuff like that but um they are just a good go-to shoe and they're so comfortable and there's something about trainers that are so comfortable that just hit different because some trainers are uncomfortable it, it just they just are or you can't wear them for like hours and hours and hours on end you can't walk ages in them but these absolutely can and i'm a sucker for a new balance so love these they're amazing highly recommend they're about 80 pounds they're worth it i have like five pairs of them and I love them. Um, so if you're looking for like a nice sporty pair of trainers to add to your wardrobe, these are great. They go with literally everything. Um, and I couldn't rave about them more, to be honest. Then we have these bad boys, which are fairly new and are very much a trend shoe at the moment. Um, these are the Adidas, Adidas? Adidas Speciales. Um, I basically saw these on my friend Sherry and I was like, I really want those. I really like those. My hair is looking a bit crazy right now. Let's sort that out. Um, yeah, so I saw them on my friend Cherry and I was just like, oh, she looks so cool in them. And I've been wanting, you know, Adidas Sambas are huge at the moment. And I've been wanting those, but then I was like, everyone's got them and 
Oh, I don't know. And then these came back in stock and I just instantly bought them. And I'm so glad I did. I love them. I love the black trainer vibe. They're a suede, so they add like a little bit less, you know. I just don't love a leather black trainer. But these, stunning. They are chef's kiss. Love them. The whole Adidas Gazelle Samba trend, I'm here for. You guys know I love my trainers. So when there's a new trainer to wear, I'm here for it. And I love this like low flat kind of style of trainer that's really popular right now wearing with like baggy jeans rolled up or with a baggy trouser or with like a with a bit more ankle showing oh, i just love them so any style of trainer like this like the gazelles or these perfect 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 you don't need to buy into them if you're not like a big trainer person but i just think they're really cool so I'm here for them. The last pair that I have to share with you are New Balance 550s. I feel like these are going to be a bit more popular in my wardrobe going into spring because I like to wear them with like more, either with my legs out or with like more of a shorter trouser. So I feel like these could look really cool and I'll probably get more wear out of them. There's a lot more available of these shoes out there now. Um, so if you're looking to add them into your wardrobe, I highly recommend. Um, these are just the plain white ones. Um, sometimes they suit the right, they're definitely like the right outfit kind of shoe because they um, are completely white. But I also think a completely white shoe is always a good option. Um, and I love them. They're a great pair of trainers. And I can't wait to wear them more with like just spring outfits. I feel like they're such a spring trainer. Like you might not think so, but because I'm such a like trainer obsessive and I like love my trainers and I always like to kind of rotate them and wear different ones. Those ones I tend to wear more in the spring summertime. I haven't worn them much over winter. So I'm excited to get them out. I'm excited to wear them more. But those are my spring essentials. Let me know if this was useful. Let me know in the comments what your spring essentials are. I apologize now for the lighting going in and out. For some reason, it's decided to be sunny, which I'm not complaining about, but it has made the lighting a bit odd. So I do apologize. And I do apologize for me playing with my hair. Um, I'm trying to do something different with it and keep it more straight because I'm not loving the curly at the moment. So yeah, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, everything will be linked below and if I can link any similar alternatives and stuff, again, will all be linked below. Um, yeah, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!